Hello, I would like to welcome you to this altar serving training video. Let me start off by thanking you for accepting the call to serve our Lord at the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass. As an altar server, you assist the priest and the entire people of God in the celebration of the liturgy. Serving at the Mass is both a great privilege and responsibility. It should be done with reverence and a respectful manner. We can't thank you enough as you serve in this noble capacity in the Holy Mass. Now, let's get on with the video. It is good that you are here today learning the basics of altar serving. First, let us learn what is an altar server, then what are expected of you when and as you serve, before, during, and after the Mass. We ask that you show up at least 15 minutes before the Mass starts. When you arrive at the church, head straight to the sacristy for vesting. As soon as you enter the sacristy, to your left is a closet where the vestments are stored. Now you can start wearing your vestment. As soon as you're vested, log in your name at the sign-in sheet found in the blue folder. The altar server lights the candles on the altar about 15 minutes before Mass begins. Once you lit the candles, you may return to the sacristy. About 5 minutes before the Mass, light the two candles that you will carry in the procession. The altar server will check the credence table if the water and wine cruets have been prepared, the chalice, along with the ciborri of bread, the sacramental book, the lavabo set and manoturge are all there. The priest will ask everyone to line up in the sacristy and then will say a quick prayer. From there, follow the cross out to the back of the church for the procession to the sanctuary. As you walk up, the cross bearer goes first, the candles next, and then the rest of the altar servers follow. As you reach the sanctuary, the cross bearer will head up to the altar and place the cross to its holder. They will then take their position at the seat near the choir area and should remain standing. As soon as the cross makes their way to the altar, the candles follow. They will place the candles on the credence table, then position themselves at the seats near the tabernacle area. They too will remain standing. The remaining altar servers, paired together, will do a head bow then genuflect in unison before heading to their seats either at the tabernacle side or the choir side and remain standing. Whenever you are sitting on the sanctuary, remember that any movement attracts the attention of others. Try to sit still and pay attention to the Mass that is going on. You should sit up straight and have your hands on your lap or folded in front. In most cases, once the readings are done, the lector will pass on the lectionary to the altar server to put away. If not, the altar server will have to take the lectionary out of the umbo and put it away 
under the credence table. As soon as the person reading the gospel moves from the chair to the altar, the candles move and stand on either side of him. The candle on the far side will have to move quickly around the back of the reader and then line up with the other candle. From there, they move in a procession towards the ambo or the pulpit. After the gospel reading, the candles will return to the credence table and altar servers take their seat. The first thing to bring out is the chalice. The chalice is the first item on and the last item off the altar. The chalice should be held with one hand around the stem and one hand on top of the corporal to ensure that nothing falls off. From the credence table, place the sacramental book to the altar and then make a head bow before returning to your seat. The next things placed on the altar are the ciboria, which have hosts in them. Take them to the altar, unstack them, make a head bow, then return to your seat. The next ones are the water and wine cruets. Quickly take the lid off and leave them at the credence table. One server should hold the water and one should hold the wine. The person with the water should be on the left and the wine on the right. When you hold the cruets with the water or wine, hold them to your right hand or to your most dominant hand. Always make sure that the handle of the cruets are turned out so the priest can easily get to them. After taking up the water and wine, you take up the water and a bowl, also called the lavabo set. The person with the wine puts it back on the credence table and takes the towel. The person with the water and bowl stays at the right and the one holding the towel at the left. The first ring is when the priest extends their hands flat over the chalice and the host. This is at the time of the epiclesis in the Eucharistic prayer. This is a short ring lasting no longer than one second in duration. The second ring is when the priest lifts the host up to the congregation. Ring three short snap rings with a second in between each. The third three short snap rings is rung when the priest lifts the chalice to the congregation. The last short ring is rung when the priest drinks from the cup. When communion is about completed, the altar server rises and retrieves the missile from the altar and moves it to the credence table. Another altar server retrieves the water cruet and moves to the altar to assist the priest during the purification of the vessels. When the priest presents the chalice, the altar server with the water pours to the chalice until the priest signals to stop. After the priest or the deacon purifies the vessels, he will place them on the side of the altar. 
take the Siboria back to the Cretan stable. The last thing off is the chalice. Remember to hold it on top and on the stem. Take it back to the Cretan stable. After the final blessing, the altar servers will retrieve the cross and the candles and proceed to go down from the altar. The cross bearer goes first, followed by the candles, then the rest of the altar servers. All should be facing the altar when the priest joins them. When the priest bows down to the altar and turn, all turn to face the back of the church. The cross bearer will lead the procession out in a respectful pace. Everything you take off, you should bring to the back. Take all the vessels, the water and wine cruets, and the lavabo set back to the sacristy. All altar servers will go back to the sacristy and return the candles and the cross to their holders. Finally, it's time to divest and return the clothes to the hangers. Tie the cinctures to the hanger and the cross to the hook. Now let us have a short recap of what we have learned. 